of 12 Days of Snake City, where for 12 days up until Christmas we do a video every single day. Today we are alone again because we're doing one of our annual Christmas Ask Snakes. It's the holiday, so you want to be very generous, you want to give. So today we are answering questions, and I think we have about 15 questions. And for every question we answer, I'm going to be donating an extra dollar to charity. Alright, we're getting into the questions. First question is, did you ever try to stay up and wait for Santa to come? No, I did not. I always went to bed because I don't, I don't really know why. I just didn't ever think of staying up. I've always wanted to catch him though. I always thought of like putting a camera and catching him. It was, it, I never st stayed up and tried to catch, like see him. But like, I always wanted to. I just never did. And I hope that answers the question. What's your favorite Christmas gift that you ever got? Now the ones I could remember and the ones I think were the, it was the one I was just was the best was my iPod 5. My iPod was broken and I really wanted it and I knew I was going to get it because my dad had told me you will get it, don't worry, whatever. But we were going to Florida that year and, he had to, and we were only going back after the New Year's. He had told me that the gift was not going to come and although like, I was skeptical I wanted it to come and like, I thought I was going to get it, it was just amazing that I got it because it was just the best gift ever. What made it so unexpected was how my parents put it in like a, like in clothes. Like they bought a, like a box where clothes usually come in, and when I opened it, it was just a bunch of newspaper, and it was in there. So it was unexpected. I didn't really like see where the box was. It was just, it was amazing though. It was really really great. Would you rather have a Christmas without a tree or without gifts? This is a toss up because it's not like anything really like personal. It's not like your family or gifts. I think there's a question like that though. Like a tree gives the atmosphere, but it's like I do like gifts. It's not something I can really answer. It's really difficult to answer this one. Maybe without a tree, I'm not sure. Cause like, it could be a toss up. And I mean, other decor if, if other decorations are still there, the tree is, I don't know. I really can't answer this question. Would you rather have a green Christmas that's minus 40 or a white Christmas that's plus 40. This is in Celsius, not Fahrenheit, so don't worry about it. But I would have a white Christmas that is 40 degrees, without a doubt. Like, what question is that? Okay, what makes snow so bad is that it's cold. But during the holiday season, I love how like snow makes the holiday season. Like I don't know about you, but having snow and a white Christmas to me, it just feels like Christmas, and it's hot. Like, who wouldn't want a white Christmas that's hot? That just sounds like the dream. That just sounds like the dream. Would you rather have a family Christmas with no gifts, or a lot of gifts with no family? There is the question, I told you there was a question like that. And right now, I would say I have a family Christmas with no gifts. Because it is, a lot of gifts is great, but the beauty of getting gifts is that your family members give them to you. Like I know when I open Christmas presents, it's always like my, my dad or my mom gives it to me and I open it and I love it and I thank them for it. But if they're not around and I just have a lot of gifts, it's like yeah, I can open it and enjoy the gifts, but I'm all alone. Oh, that's it, you're all alone, you're not with anyone. It's, a, it's so sad. That's actually the saddest thing to happen. Do you favor celebrating Christmas because of the food and Jesus and his wonderful story? Or do you celebrate Christmas because of the gifts and Santa Claus coming to town? How Catholic minded are you really? I without a doubt enjoy celebrating Christmas for the food because the food is great. But I have to say though, like, I'm not, okay, I'm not gonna base it off the exact question. I'm gonna go off Catholic minded. I definitely do enjoy Christmas because of the reason it's Christ's birthday and I do like the story of Christmas and I do celebrate it for that reason. But I enjoy the commercial of it. Like, and in the end, don't we all enjoy the commercial of Christmas? I mean, think about it. All the decorations, all the music, all the movies, those are all commercialized. It's the Christmas that we created with Santa Claus and stockings and all the pretty lights. That's all commercial. But I do enjoy the, the real uh, religious side of it. I'm kind of Catholic minded, if you want to say. Would you rather chuck two liters of eggnog slash chocolate milk? or swallow a pot of Christmas cookies. I would rather chug two liters of eggnog or chocolate milk. Because I enjoy my chocolate milk. I, I love my chocolate milk. And I could just drink it. I don't mind. I'll drink it. I'll drink it. But if I have to swallow, if I have to swallow a pound of cookies and then 
do you get a drink with that? Do you get a glass of water at least or something? Because to eat cookies like that after a while, it's like it's you need something to like just bring it down. Would you rather not be able to spend time with your family for Christmas or not get anything you wanted for Christmas? I'd rather not get anything I asked for, to be honest. Not being able to spend time with my family is, like I said, the worst thing. Because if you can't spend time with your family, how are you going to have a fun Christmas? But without your family, how are you going to enjoy Christmas, you know what I mean? What's your favorite holiday tradition? Now this might sound like we're a family of gamblers, but every year around the holiday season, me, my dad, my brother, my uncle, and my cousin all come together, we all play poker, we do it all throughout the month of December and then we play on Christmas Day. It's a tradition we have because every year we always play poker and it's fun, it's just a really fun tradition. Like, call us gamblers, but a lot of Italians do it and I really like doing it. What age did you stop believing in Santa? This one comes with a little story because I stopped believing in Santa a while ago, I think it was maybe when I was 8 years old. Like, that's when I officially stopped believing in Santa, like I knew it wasn't real. Funny enough was because, first of all, um, the year before like, I was a bit skeptical, like I was always a bit, a bit skeptical, but what confirmed it was the gift I asked for Santa was in the trunk of my car, my dad had left it there, and I had seen it in the trunk from the back seat. So I kind of put two and two together and realized Santa's not real. I didn't say anything though, and it actually lasted up until maybe I was 12. I was 12 years old, so for four years I just didn't mention anything. But for four years I didn't mention anything, I pretended like I, I believed in Santa for the extra gifts. And you know what, it, it caught on until eventually I was just like, okay, I'm tired of this. Weirdest gift you ever received? Oh, I got this one. My grandmother, uh, the same year I got my iPod, I think it was like 9 or 10 years old, decided to get me, um, get me gifts. Now she always got us a bunch of gifts, but one little gift she got me, which I don't know why, was just a jar of gumballs. It's definitely on the weird side, because it was just a random jar of gumballs that she just gave. Like a, it's like, it's not even like a stocking stuffer, it was literally just a giant jar of gumballs, and it's still in my room because I've never eaten them. When was Jesus born? It's not the 25th of December. This is someone I know from school, and yeah, I know, it's it technically, Jesus is said to be born. This is obviously off religious reasons, but it's technically said Jesus is was born. Jesus is Jesus was born in the springtime. He was born in the spring, but they put it on the 20. They put his birthday on the 25th, and I did this for a French presentation because of the uh, winter solstice. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video and I have been enjoying Holistic City so far. Give it a like as well as tell me what you thought of the video down in the comments below. Also, share this video with everyone you know on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, just everywhere, even Tumblr. Because my goal by the end of the year is to get 350 subscribers or 27 subscribers away, and I really want to do this, so please, please get us there. Anyways, guys, I'm Snake. I'll see you in the next one. Merry Christmas.